Hey filmmakers, today we're diving into the world of cinematic color grading with Dehancer Pro, a powerful film emulation plugin designed to transform your digital footage into the nostalgic charm of real film. We'll explore the ins and outs of this plugin to see if it's the right choice for you. As a disclaimer, Dehancer did provide me with a copy of Dehancer Pro for this, but they didn't have any say whatsoever about the opinions expressed in this video. First things first, what exactly is Dehancer? Dehancer is a versatile plugin that brings that coveted film-like quality to your video projects. It's compatible with the most popular editing programs such as DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and Final Cut Pro. While Dehancer also offers plugins for Lightroom and Photoshop, today we're focusing on its integration for video, specifically within DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of what Dehancer brings to the table. One of the standout features I love is its user friendliness. With a straightforward interface, you can toggle various film characteristics on and off effortlessly. Whether you're looking to add grain, halation, or fine-tune contrast, Dehancer makes it a breeze. Dehancer also offers an impressive level of customization. You have access to a plethora of sliders, allowing you to dial in the intensity of each effect to achieve the precise look you're envisioning. Plus, with over 60 film stocks to choose from, you can experiment until you find the perfect match for your project. So what do I personally like about Dehancer? First off, the ease of use stands out. You can toggle effects on or off with a click, making it easy to see the impact of each adjustment. The abundance of customization options, thanks to those sliders, lets you dial in the exact look you're going for. However, like most things, it's not perfect. One downside I encountered was its performance on hardware. On my M1 Max MacBook Pro, which has 32GB of RAM, I still face slowdowns during playback, preventing me from enjoying full resolution previews. This hiccup even led to drop frames within DaVinci Resolve. In all my editing within Resolve over the last two years, this plugin has been the only thing to slow it down so much that it caused drop frames. Another thing to keep in mind is the price tag. Dehancer Pro isn't exactly light on the wallet. At $449 US, it's priced higher than DaVinci Resolve Studio itself. Having said that, they do have a lower priced light version, as well as plugins if you just want the film grain or bloom. Now let's talk about who would benefit most from Dehancer. If you're a filmmaker with a burning desire to capture the essence of film aesthetics in your digital projects, Dehancer would be a fantastic tool. It caters to those who are primarily shooting digital but still yearn for that film aesthetic. However, I need to stress that Dehancer might not be the best choice for beginners. Its wide array of settings and options could feel overwhelming, especially if you're not already familiar with the basics of color grading. I'd recommend it more to intermediate and experienced filmmakers who can fully harness its potential. To wrap it up, Dehancer Pro is a versatile film emulation plugin that can elevate your projects to new visual heights. From its user-friendly interface to the impressive level of customization, it's a powerful tool for those who are serious about achieving that cinematic look. Just keep in mind the hardware demands and the investment required. If you're interested in trying any of Dehancer's products, feel free to use my discount code RICHARD for 10% off your purchase. And if you have any questions about Dehancer, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.